Welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis. With a big smile on my face today, I will be giving you my exact predictions for the next few weeks on the Bitcoin chart. That will include the targets, the exact levels that I am looking for to be hit next. I will let you know already, I am back bullish. This is of course after we have just seen that fake out of the symmetrical triangle, which of course I did short. Uh, we were, you know, looking at this symmetrical triangle now for the past few weeks, right? And we were prepared for the rise out of that before the fake out quick drop back down, which we predicted would liquidate millions of traders on the 1st of January. A few days later, we got the fake out. We got the very quick move down and a lot of traders, unfortunately, uh, you know, that didn't understand what a fake out is, were buying the top and, and got liquidated. Of course, we were able to take advantage of that and actually shorted prior to that 10% move to the downside. I will tell you now, though, I have closed out of that short from the triangle i am now back bullish only in long trades and actually predicting we're going to go on to make new highs so that's exactly what i'm going to be talking through in this video of course, I've already given that information to the champion members. They already know how bullish I am. And now in this video, I want to continue for you on the public face here and be very transparent with why I am so bullish. I've got some, oh, I'm excited because some of the technical analysis I'm going to be sharing with you today is, is going on to a little bit complex, uh, complex, complex. You know, it's fairly advanced, but it is wonderful technical analysis that honestly just this is why I'm here this is why I come every single day to trade it just brings so much happiness to me to see I spend so much time doing technical analysis looking at the charts making predictions and then when I see the technical analysis play out like it does today oh it just makes everything so worthwhile I love it I love it when my predictions come to play and just to see the technical analysis working so yeah, as always, I'm going to keep this video very professional and hopefully concise and short because I actually have an Emirates guy waiting for me outside to pick me up to the airport. I have got a flight scheduled that is going to be leaving shortly, so I'm going to have to keep this all quick. I've already had to send him a, a big tip for, to apologize. I should be leaving right now, but I said I want to do this YouTube update for everybody. So here I am. I do have to keep it quick because he's waiting. So um, <laughs> yeah, there's that. Uh, but yeah, I am that bullish. So let me, first of all, I, I need to talk you through what happened over the past 24 hours, of course, for the context, but also for the education here. It's wonderful, the technical analysis that we got. So let me rewind 24 hours to educate you exactly what I was looking at. And we had this mini range going on. So for me, it was fairly simple. The low of the dump that we had saw off, off of that symmetrical triangle fake out. And at the time, I was just simply remaining patient. I didn't want to take any trades immediately there. I recognized that we have a range. And what I'm going to be doing is waiting now for a failed auction of this range high or the reclaim where I'll look to fill the single prints. What happened next was we actually got above the range mini range high. This is a five minute chart. And as we got above that mini range, I said, okay, we are going to be now flipping that into support and I will expect a rise to the upside to fill the single prints. Yeah, what happens now is, is just lovely technical analysis. So this is the single prints that we were looking at at the time. This is your first row of single prints. This is your second row of single prints. You can see the high of that second row, $44,887.5. That's a very precise level, and that is what we go the single prints. So the first idea is that's our mini range to be trading. If we get above that range and flip it into support like we did, we expect to fill the single prints. What happens next, we go up here and we get this rise to the upside. And the exact level that we find resistance is from that first row of single prints on the high. And we're talking about to the dollar, right? And here we get a little bit of a pullback. This is now turning into a buying opportunity to fill the second row of single prints. Okay, and now I just want to show you where we topped out at last night. So you can see on these highs here, okay, when we come back over to the single prints on the TPO chart, just look at this, 44,887.5 was the top of that single print row. And then where we topped out for the selling tail from yesterday's price action, 44,887.5. OK, so we're talking about very precise fill of those single prints, which is what we were looking for. Right. When we first originally got the acceptance, we want to fill all of the single prints there from yesterday's price action. We filled the first row 
we got a little bit of a pullback. We went on to fill the second row. That is then filling those single prints from the intraday trend. Okay. And then what happens next is we close the day up at the high. We form a CCV setup with our daily open above the previous day value area high. We get the acceptance during the initial balance, which is the first hour of the trading day. After that initial balance acceptance into previous day value area high, we get a very quick drop to the downside, which bounces off the previous day value area low, which completes the CCV setup which then gives another long opportunity uh, for our continued rise to the upside. So this is what it was looking like after we'd filled that CCV uh, target. So I, I just personally found that amazing, the way that we got the single prints filled each step. Fill, pull back consolidation, all because of the single prints. High of the day, off of that top row of single prints into the CCV setup, <laughs> giving the drop to bounce off the CCV target, taking some lower liquidity. And then, you know, I've already, of course, told my team, you know, I am in no short trades now. I am remaining long. And I know the first question that a lot of people are going to be asking is, is why, Daniel, you do, you know, I had a short trade from prior to this drop. You know, the, the standard the standard thing a lot of people are going to be doing, and this is what I would generally do a lot of the time as well, right? Would have that short trade, okay, with locked in take profit one off of that short after the big drop to the downside. I actually locked the take profit in off of the low of the triangle here. So I locked in a very nice take profit one. Uh, and then generally what we would do is either move this to entry or simply keep it above the highs because that's the hard cold invalidation. And you can see here the, the confidence that I have to tell my team, uh, you know, I've, I've closed those short trades fully in profit. I'm not waiting for the stop loss. You know, that is, you know, that's got a lot of confidence in my words there. You know, I'm making it very clear to the champion members, no short trades remaining longs. And here we are still below entry. Um, you know, I'm not waiting for a stop loss. And that simply is because I have a lot of confidence right now in my technical analysis and ability to read these charts once again correctly. It's as simple as that. So I'm not waiting for a stop loss to be here. What I do recognize is that I have an intraday setup for a new short trade. <laughs> yeah. So this is one level that you want to be aware of. And this is the daily here. 45,015. So this is an intraday setup, intraday SFP off of previous day high. Okay, nothing crazy. This is a low term time frame scope trade entry. Okay. What we're going to be looking for is, of course, we can get a reaction there and a subsequent pullback. Okay, but ultimately, uh, what we'd be looking for if we get a pullback over there is forming through these daily levels, which does have some confluence, moving past you know, the current yearly high, which was set on the 2nd of January, right? That is our current high of the chart. And what we actually have is a very interesting yearly level, okay? You know, so if I just zoom out for you and go on to the yearly chart, okay? So this is a our, our last year from 2022, 2021, our yearly level here, which is untapped. So this is something we got to be aware of, right? And so this gives this gives us setup potential very similar to what we have here off of an intraday SFP, right? That's an intraday SFP trade. What we have is a very similar setup off of the yearly high where we'd be looking for that rise to the upside SFP, okay, trade. So it's the exact same theory that we'd be looking for here, just simply with a bit of a higher term time frame level, okay, and a much bigger liquidity level indeed, because that's the, the high of the year right now. So it's the similar setups off of the daily and the yearly. I think you will, and you know, I think I've made it very clear what I'm looking for, and I am absolutely bullish, and, and I would much prefer to see new highs, new yearly highs. So, you know, I'd I'm aware that this is a this is a level, and hey, if I get a reaction, you know, I'll, I'll take a short trade, but more from an intraday quick trade perspective, right? I'd look to lock in a take profit one, for example, at the VWAP. I'm not going to be holding that for a, a swing trade. I'll lock in take profit one at the VWAP, and wow, if we get a bigger reversal, we get a bigger reversal. But my my thoughts and you know bias right now is we're going to push on to new uh, new yearly highs, and uh, you know, of course, 
well, it's not of course, it depends how much you watch my videos, but I am really, really loving it if we can push on to $47,000 plus. Dollars. This is where I've got major targets that I've held now for a very, very long time, uh, is what I've been wanting to see. So I would, you know, I'd love to see that. I really would. Um, just a reminder. Uh, before I move on to what I would class as the invalidations of these trades, uh, that what I'm to doing in these videos, what I do every single day when I'm going into the group, when I'm posting my analysis, when we're talking about theories such as CCV setup, when we're analyzing the order flow, okay, when we're looking at the TPO charts, everything that I use to take my trades, that the coaches use to take their trades, is taught in chart champions okay so you can come along to here and you see can see the course from beginner to master everything that we cover everything that we trade with is taught with the theory where you have the full theory set up for you in the video and you of course have rundowns in the timestamps of exactly what's going on there and then you have the speed run version which is that hour-long video cut down into 10-15 minutes so you can go through quickly that is what we at chart champions are focused on it is the education it's getting you up to a level of trading where you can do this on yourself you are not reliant or waiting on anybody else in the world you understand the theory you've got to the level where you are taking trades making profits and you know you basically use the coach's channel for almost like saying, oh, I've done my technical analysis, I've took my trades, oh, and now I've got some even extra confidence when I see, you know, for example, myself talking about a similar trade setup. Uh, I will let you know that today we have later on a live trading session with Igor. So if you want to see some live trading, doing it in the time, he will be doing that today. And then on Sunday, I do have the Champions live stream where I'll be doing a high term time frame setup bias. Okay, where I'll go through the charts on a very large time frame for the swing trades generally going to be covering their Bitcoin, Ethereum, the stock market, S&P 500, the DXY, and some higher term time frame altcoin picks that I like for those, you know, swing trade setups for the long term. So that will be on Sunday. And then, of course, we're back to our normal schedule next week, every single day, live stream updates with, you know, combining that in with altcoin updates, etc, etc. The standard, um, you know, what we do every single week. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if that's of interest to you, if you really want to succeed and make some wonderful life-changing profits, as well as just educating yourself on a needed skill, I would say in 2024, learn to trade, best place to do it, Chart Champions, and we'll be more than happy to have you along in the community and really help you succeed in the very best place there is. So if that sounds interesting, you know where you can get more of me and the other wonderful coaches that we have. Thank you. And now let's move on to, yeah, the invalidations of these trades. So as mentioned, I am bullish. I am I'm definitely long and not in any shorts here. So the intraday shorts, as mentioned, we have that daily level. We have that yearly level or intraday triggers off of like SFP type moves from the previous day high and the yearly high onto the yearly level. <laughs> uh, I have the bigger target sat from 47, which is our previous range point of control up to fifty thousand dollars these are key key levels of course we have just above fifty two thousand dollars that's for another video uh not for this youtube one uh that's what i'll cover on sunday's champions live stream basically so in terms of invalidation we're gonna have to look down here and say to ourselves where are we wrong where am i wrong uh and made a very big mistake <laughs> telling my team to close the shorts telling them um, i am bullish i'm looking for high you know if we drop from here that that will be a mistake. And I, I'm never a guy to shy away from that. If I make a mistake, hey, I'll hold my hands up and say, hey, that was a bad call. That was incorrect. Uh, it's not often I do them. <laughs> so it's, I don't think people would be too bad, but it would be a mistake nevertheless if we drop from here. So I'm prepared for that. But there are some early signs that I could get that we're about to basically see a bigger drop and I would be wrong. Uh, first of all, of course, previous, well, the current range really that we're in losing the value area left. If we lose this, then it's very likely that we can come on to fill down the wicks that we're forming here onto our lower naked point of controls. And I think you all know for the bigger one, we got the monthly naked point of control down here. We do have some nice confluence that are weekly as well. So for me, it would be losing that value area low. I would have to say to my team, hey, I'm very sorry on that, but I was incorrect on the call. Uh, we are not going to be even hitting our daily level. And we have fell down from here, very likely if we lose the value area low. Of course, it's not fully over. We do still have a CC Fibonacci still below us there. But if you saw, that does line up pretty nicely with the value area low. 
Okay, so if I just pull it there, you know, we can see it's we got in, in that little bit of a zone. So if we're losing that into the CC, that's where it's like, okay, I was incorrect on, on closing my shorts <laughs> and looking to long this dip from the CCV setup. Okay, but as of sta as it stands right now, I have no reason to believe that. We have not got any um, order flow here that I would consider bearish. We are getting some longs opening up here, but we are still maintaining the uptrend, which is for me right now absolutely fine those longs are in profit okay we haven't got the bearish cvd right now so for me everything is looking healthy for continuation again we could hit that daily and get a bit of a pullback that's an intraday setup but for right now i am looking for higher i do think we go to at least that daily from here we can check the reaction and of course we got a big yearly level and then the even bigger point of controls above us which for me are absolutely major targets and you know i'd love to see that hit so yeah <clears throat> i'm actually going back home today so i'm going to be catching a flight to dubai um so I've, yeah i've been away for christmas just to see some family and friends going back home though uh so yeah i really need to not keep this emirates guy waiting anymore <laughs> and uh yeah next time you see me we'll be back home set up in dubai so thank you ever so much everybody hope you have really enjoyed this video if you have you know what to do hit the like button leave a comment down below to show your love and appreciation i read every single one and it always brings me a lot of joy to see that we're helping out so yeah Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hope you really enjoy 2024. If you want to see me every single day of the week, you know where to get me over at chartchampions.com. This video is going to be a little bit delayed uh, simply because, yeah, I'm going to literally run out right now. Uh, but I will have this on the laptop and I'll upload it uh, on the road or maybe on the plane, I'll see. Uh, but and nevertheless, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. And I will catch you over inside of the Discord. Thank you. Cheers. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.